So here we have the Seat Leon on a 67 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see from the outside, it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car now, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 44,854, above which we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change that information using controls on the steering wheel. We're on the driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available to you uh, as well. So assist systems, your satellite navigation, audio, telephone, vehicle status and back around to where we started a moment ago. If we back out to the steering wheel, the controls I was using are over on the right hand side of the steering wheel. On the left hand side we have stereo and phone controls and then in the center is where you would pair your phone in order that you're able to use it. Just follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music, of course we've got the radio. Uh, this car as you will see has got AM, FM and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You do that under the media heading just here. And again, there's a number of ways you can listen to your own music, and they include Bluetooth audio. So once you've paired your phone, you'll be able to make and receive phone calls, uh, but you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly as well. Uh, again, if we come back to the home screen, you'll see that we've also got satellite navigation. A uh, lovely, clear color display. It's a very easy system to use. Uh, if we work our way down from there, on the left-hand side, uh, we have the driver temperature, uh, driver sorry, driver temperature on the right hand side, passenger temperature on the left hand side for the dual zone climate control. You can adjust the fan speed from here and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute, that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. Any manual adjustment will turn auto off straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings here. Underneath that, we have two USB inputs, your auxiliary input and some storage there, of course, and then a six-speed manual gearbox, along with your electronic handbrake and auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.